Hello there, Jack Murray here, and I'm going to have some fun this time. We are playing a sort of stipulation deck where I'm basically playing a singleton deck in a league. Uh, not quite exactly like Highlander because we have multiples of these uh, mana fixing lands, but this was a compromise to the original you know, play a singleton deck thing, because there aren't really enough, like, two-color lands in Popper to get away with playing, like, a sweet singleton deck and actually be able to play spells, like, when you're just playing, like, you know, ten islands, ten swamps, and it's, you know, you, you, you don't you don't actually get to play your, your cards out. So, what, what are we doing? We're, this arose from a discussion uh, where I was talking about blue black having like so many like really sweet cards and then it became like this sort of challenge where I can only use one card and somewhere along the, along the way uh, I decided to try and make it as tilting as possible you know like where there were some card choices to be made I went for the more uh, unusual choices so for example, like we have like some different art, white bordered basics. We have like a frightful delusion in our deck to like just get people. Same with this, like this disrupt. We have a confound in our deck. You know, like all these things which like your opponent probably aren't gonna expect. Certainly not game one. And you know, you could just get them. Like we have like one spell starter sprite. So that's why there's like a bunch of like really, really specific. Like uh, counter spells, which they can't possibly play around them all, right? Right. Um, to back that up, we have like a bunch of card draw. So you have like a Seagate Oracle, a Probe, some Deep Analysis, and we have like so many sort of card draw. We have all these cards that say cantrip and draw cards. We have some like Courier's Capsule type stuff. We have Whispers of the Muse, and much like most other blue black control decks we have like a bunch of removal spells uh like a variety of edicts um kill spells uh like remove soul type effects as well and like a pred predatory night stalker and to actually kill them we have like agar magangler um you can beat them to death with our like one mole drifter or seagate oracle or whatever um, we're deliberately not putting a ghostly flicker in our deck to lock people out with mnemonic wall since that's too it's too easy and also one of the main win conditions is this capsize uh, because even if we get it discarded early on or we need to fire it off we can always get it back with the, the wall and if the wall's dead we can always get it back with the mortuary mire and going super long we can capsize our mortuary mire to replay it to keep getting back mnemonic wall to play more removals and get back so manipulations to you know just play our creatures over and over again we are incredibly defensive and sometimes our opponent may concede just because they're being buried in their cards well that's that's the theory anyway over in the sideboard it remains a highlander Got like an Annul against Affinity, we've got an Envelop, which is great against like all these Read the Bones and Night's Whispers and Sign and Bloods and stuff that people are playing. Um, Hydroblast, once a gimme, Negate, Aura Flux is a good Miser card. Fade Away is also another great Miser card. Most A lot of these are good Miser cards. Um, we have like a Bolt Gnomes and a Pristine Talisman for like life gain matchups. Uh, same with this Brush with Death, which you know, making its stunning comeback after being featured in that Rakdos deck at some point. Same with this Crypt Incursion. We've got like a Mourn Whelk, because like a discard thing, because it goes with an extremely long game plan of more Mire, Soul Manipulation and so on. And we can go the in if Encourage Justice route, if you feel like it. We've got some other, you know, cheap interaction things. But mostly we have like a bunch of Miser stuff and it should be fun hopefully i mean i might just get murdered but i'm ready i'm willing to take the risk see you there